What's up, hockey fans? Welcome back to Triple D Hockey. The NHL has seen its fair share of battles on the ice. While the game today features skill and finesse, the league has also witnessed some of the most legendary fighters in its storied history. These warriors not only protect their teammates, but also ignite the passion of fans with their fearless, never back down mentality. In this video, we're going to recount the top 10 fighters in NHL history. Donald Brashear was a relentless enforcer who terrorized opponents with his size and strength. Brashear's encounters with fellow tough guys like George LaRock and Bob Probert were battles for the ages. He never hesitated to stand up for his teammates and had 390 fights during his hockey career while playing for the Canadians, Canucks, Flyers, Capitals, and Rangers. Brashear's dedication to his teammates and his willingness to drop the gloves with the league's best fighters make him a top-tier enforcer in NHL history. In the NHL, there are heroes and legends, but some players carve out their own unique path to glory. Meet Joey Koser, a name synonymous with toughness and unwavering dedication to his team. Koser's role as an enforcer was pivotal to his success. He played the part as half of the Bruise Brothers with teammates Bob Probert in the late 80s and 90s, and his fists were as reliable as his skates, and he protected his teammates at any cost. Known for his devastating right hand, he engaged in over 200 fights during his 15-year career. He currently ranks second behind Bob Probert in Red Wings history with over 1,900 penalty minutes. Koser was part of the powerhouse Red Wings team that won the Stanley Cup in 1997 and 98. His presence in the locker room was invaluable, providing the motivation and toughness needed for multiple championship runs. In the hard-hitting world of the NHL, Dave Brown was a name that struck fear into the hearts of opponents. Spending most of his 13-year career in Philadelphia, he also won the Cup in 1990 in Edmonton. In 1992, the Flyers were facing the rival Rangers. In the third period with the game on the line, Dave Brown saw an opportunity to change the momentum. He dropped the gloves with Rangers enforcer, none other than tough guy Ty Domi, in a bone-rattling fight that shook the arena. Brown's fists were like thunder, and his unwavering determination ignited the crowd and his teammates. The Flyers went on to win the game, thanks in no small part to Dave Brown's fight. His heroic moment became the turning point in the season, propelling the Flyers toward a playoff spot. George LaRock was a giant on the ice, known for his imposing size and willingness to drop the gloves at any moment. Despite his reputation as a fighter, he also flashed some offensive bursts from time to time, scoring 13 goals with one season with the Oilers. His time with the Oilers and Penguins showcased his ability to swing the momentum of a game with his fists. LaRock's clashes with fellow enforcers like Donald Brashear and Derek Bougard were unforgettable. He brought a combination of strength and determination that few could match. Between 1997 and 2010, LaRock participated in over 130 fights. His impact as a fighter extended to his involvement in charitable work and advocacy off the ice, making him not only a feared opponent but also a respected figure around the NHL. Terry O'Reilly's legacy is built on hard work, leadership, and his fists. O'Reilly was known as a tenacious competitor, a Boston Bruins legend who left it all on the ice. He spent his entire career with the Bruins, where he became known as an iconic fighter who had over 150 fights in his career. O'Reilly's ability to drop the gloves and protect his teammates was unparalleled, as he was never one to back down from a challenge and was regarded as one of the best fighters in NHL history. His willingness to defend his team on the ice endeared him to fans and teammates alike. While O'Reilly's fist did the talking, he also was a skilled forward who tallied over 600 career points. His dual threat capability made him a valuable asset to the Bees. Chris Nealon, also known as Knuckles, was a fierce competitor spending most of his career with the Montreal Canadiens, where he set the franchise record for most career penalty minutes and most penalty minutes in a season, while also participating in over 200 fights during his career. As much of a fighter he was, he did showcase some hands at times, finishing his career with 225 points. There's one point in time that really showcased his bravery and willingness to sacrifice for his team. During a game in 1986, near the end of a 1-1 tie, he threw himself in front of a blistering slap shot, sacrificing his body for the block, preventing a sure goal. The Canadians went on to win the cup that year, and Knuckles played a pivotal role during that run. Ty Domi was never one to shy away from a scrap. His tenacity, combined with his willingness to protect his teammates, earned him respect from those teammates and fans alike. His career spanned 16 seasons, the majority of the time spent with the Maple Leafs, where he became a beloved figure for his unwavering loyalty and willingness to protect his team at any cost. Domi's battles on the ice were legendary, as he faced off against some of the most feared enforcers in the NHL. Domi also straddled the line quite a bit, racking up a handful of suspensions for questionable hits, 
So it's not that surprising that he ranks first all-time with 333 fights and ranks third all-time in NHL history for most penalty minutes. Despite all this time in the penalty box, he was still able to pitch in for almost 250 points throughout his career. Dave Tiger Williams, a name synonymous with grit and determination, etched his place in NHL history as one of the most formidable fighters the league has ever seen. Williams' career spanned 14 seasons, and his role as an enforcer was nothing short of legendary. Williams' fearless approach to the game made him a fan favorite and a vital asset to the teams he played for, as he was unafraid to drop the gloves and defend his teammates, earning respect across the league for his toughness and tenacity. He finished his career as the NHL's penalty minute king with almost 4,000 career minutes, a record that will likely never be broken and one we talked about at length in another video. Check it out up top. Beyond his enforcer role, Williams displayed versatility, contributing over 500 career points and scoring 35 goals one season with the Canucks. His combination of physicality and skill made him quite a valuable player. Dave the Hammer Schultz, a name that still resonates with fans of the rough and tumble era of hockey, left an indelible mark as one of the premier fighters in NHL history. Schultz's career spent nine seasons, and he was renowned for his unwavering toughness and willingness to drop the gloves against anyone. Schultz's tenure with the Flyers in the 1970s is the stuff of hockey lore. He played an instrumental role in the team's Broad Street Bullies reputation, fearlessly defending his teammates and striking fear into his opponents. His pugilistic prowess was unmatched, leading the league in penalty minutes multiple times, including the 74-75 season when he set the single-season NHL record that still stands today with 472 minutes. Schultz could be more than a fighter, as he scored 20 goals for the Flyers one season and scored a series-clinching OT winner in the first round of the 1974 playoffs. Despite his on-ice success, he later expressed regret about his role as an enforcer and the prominence of fighting in hockey. At number one on our list is a true heavyweight of the NHL, none other than Bob Probert. His combination of size, strength, and devastating left hand made him one of the most feared fighters of any era. He spent the majority of his time with Detroit and Chicago, where he became a beloved figure for his unwavering loyalty and his willingness to stand up for his teammates. His on-ice battles were legendary, as he faced off against some of the most feared enforcers in the league, most notably a long-standing rivalry with Ty Domi, Stu Grimson, and Wendell Clark. Probert is the closest thing the NHL has to a heavyweight champion, having fought over 230 times and earning 3,300 penalty minutes. Unsurprisingly, he holds the Red Wings franchise record for most penalty minutes in a season and a career. One of his more memorable fights came towards the end of his career in 1999, when the Avalanche's Scott Parker tried to make a name for himself by initiating a fight with Probert. Parker was knocked out in under 11 seconds. No other fighter has Probert's track record, making him the easy top choice on our list. And there you have it, hockey fans, the top 10 fighters in NHL history. These warriors of the ice not only protected their teammates, but also captured the hearts of fans with their courage and tenacity. Which one is your favorite? Got any we missed? Let us know in the comments below, and if you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button, and remember, it's a great day for hockey.